Trenton, for a Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Hi everyone, welcome to Best Lesson and Asking Permission. You're gonna need to know a couple of very, very simple words that are very common. For example, we have can, could, and may. And also, we have phrases such as do you mind, would it be okay, but don't worry. We're gonna do these phrases for a little later. You know, they are the special cases, so let's begin. We have the sentence, can I borrow your cell phone, could I borrow your cell phone, and may I borrow your cell phone. Now, when you use each of these three words, it's going to depend on a few things. Number one, how polite you want to be. Number two, how formal you want to be, or how formal the situation, how well you know the person that you're asking permission. And finally, what is the necessity, how badly you need in this case the cell phone so let's start with can so we have can I borrow your cell phone now depending on the tone you use when you ask in for the cell phone in this case you can come across in many different ways the person that you're asking this question to so if you ask can I borrow your cell phone it sounds very urgent it's like saying I'm not really asking you if If you can give it to me, I'm asking it more as a formality. You are going to give your cell phone. That is what Ken does. Next we have, could I borrow your cell phone? So this leaves some rooms for possibility. You can say yes or you can say no. So now we have, may I? right may i borrow your cell phone this is the most polite way of asking somebody for permission it is also the most formally recognized way in english language now look at this phrase would it be okay if plus subject plus a verb in past form. This phrase is slightly more formal and polite. If somebody asks you by using this phrase, you can say go ahead, you can say yes, or you can say no. Finally, we have do you mind if plus subject plus the verb in base form and would you mind if plus subject plus a verb but in this case we use the verb in past form. So these phrases are even more polite than me. Do you mind if and would you mind if are used when you think you're gonna be inconveniencing someone to be through your actions. So for example, if we ask do you mind if I borrow your cell phone or would you mind if I borrowed your cell phone versus can I borrow your cell phone in this case can I mean I want it okay and do you mind if or would you mind if say I hope I'm not causing you too much trouble so that is a big difference between these phrases apart from that there is a special thing to know about asking do you mind if and would you mind if and actually answering to do you mind and would you mind so for example If I ask you, do you mind if I borrow your cell phone or would you mind if I borrowed your cell phone and you say no, I don't mind, you would think that means no, you know, that is a negative response, right? That means, here, you can use my cell phone, bro, there's no problem here. However, if you ask me, do you mind if I borrow your cell phone and I say yes, it means I have a problem. I'm not gonna give you my cell phone, okay? In conclusion, again, it depends on the formality, the necessity and the politeness that you want to use, right? Depending on which word you choose when asking for permission. So that's all for now, guys. See you later and take care.